We've added a brand new set of opt-in forms to the Thrive Leads library and let me show you what this new design looks like. Now that you've seen the different opt-in forms and the different designs, let me show you how you can customize it. And after that, we'll go into some more details about the advanced features on the opt-in forms, such as the two-step opt-in forms and the multiple choice opt-in forms. But first of all, let me show you how you can customize these opt-in forms so that they really fit the look and feel of your own website. So here we are in the Thrive Leads dashboard and I already created a lead group and let me just add a new opt-in form type and for this demonstration let's use the light box. Let's create a new form and call this one step light box. From here you can click on edit design here you'll be presented with the templates library and you'll be able to pick the light box that you want. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use the one step light box. So let's scroll down and here we have the fading image one step light box. So choose this template. Now, if this opt-in form fits your needs, you can use it exactly the way it is. You simply connect it to your email provider but most of the time you will want to customize it. And from here, for example, we'll start by customizing the image. So let's click on this image and let's see how we can change this to be our own image. Now there's one thing that you'll notice that is that this is like very nicely cut out and that we have this overlay effect on it. And the biggest advantage is that all of this is done within Drive Leads. So you won't have to change your image in Photoshop or in an other editor tool before uploading it to your website. You can just click on this image and then upload your own and you'll see that it takes the right shape and that it has this nice effect over it. So here, when you click on the image, you can see that this is a content box. So in the breadcrumbs, you can see that we're in a content box. And here in the content box options, you can see that this content box is 300 pixels wide and that it's 380 pixels height. Now, this is important if you want to make sure that your image loads as fast as possible, because you will want to use an image that's as close as possible to these dimensions. This also means that if you add an image that's smaller than these dimensions, it will stretch and it will look pixelated. So make sure that your image is at least 306 on 380 pixels wide. Now, because this is a content box and we want to change the image, you will have to go into background style because this is not an image element. This is actually a background image on a content box. And from here, you can see that we have a linear gradient and that we have the image. Now let's click on the image. And then from here, we can click on it again and we can change it for our own image. Now here you can see this is an image that's 680 on 500 pixels, so it's wide enough. And here make sure that in the size that you don't have something like thumbnail or medium selected, because then your image might still get pixelated, even though it is big enough, because WordPress will resize the image. So make sure you have the full size selected here. And then insert into posts. As I promised, I didn't do anything special with this image. This is just a normal image that we downloaded from a, a stock photo website. And the moment I upload it, it takes this nice shape. And because of the gradient, it has this nice overlay on top of it. So let's apply. Now, the next thing that we want to customize would probably be this color. So let's click on this. And again, you can see this is a content box. So let's go into our background style. And from here, you can see we have a linear gradient. Let's click on it. 
Let's select our green color and here we can take this blue, for example. Let's apply. Now, the next thing that we want to change is the button on this opt-in form or the color of the button on this opt-in form. And for that, we can click on the lead generation form and here on the edit form elements. So once you're in this edit form elements menu, you can click on the button and then you can see here we have the master color. And so let's make this blue apply and then our font style, we will probably have to make this white. So let's go out of this editing. Let's click on the save and close. And then now with the lead generation form selected, you can see that you have something that's called connect form to service. Once you connect this form with your email service, you will be able to delete or to add one of the fields here. So that's how that would be done. Let me just change the color of these numbers really quickly. So let's select it. And then from here, we can go into our color panel and choose the blue. Now that you've seen how easy it is to customize this form, let me show you some of the more advanced features in some of the other opt-in form types that are available within the same opt-in form set. Let us first have a look at this two-step ribbon. Now, why do we call this a two-step ribbon? Because first of all, people would have to click on this button before they would actually see the real opt-in form. So that's the reason why we call it two-step. The first step would be the click, and then the second step is the opt-in form. Now, as you can see, when you load this template on your website, you will see the first state. So you will see what your visitors will see before they interact with your form. In this case, they will see the ribbon with simply the button. And then here in the bottom right corner, you can see that we have something, a plus button with a one. This shows that there is another state on this opt-in form. Now you will see this on any opt-in form that has multiple states. Now, when you go into state one, you'll see the opt-in form that your users will see after they clicked on the first button. And from here, you will be able to connect your opt-in form with your email servers. To do so, simply click on the lead generation form and then here you see connect form to service. And that's where you will be able to connect your form with your email service. Now you might have noticed that we also have two step forms that show an opt-in form rather than changing the opt-in form in line. And let me show you how that works. Now here you can see a ribbon that looks very similar to the ribbon that I just showed you. It's also a two step ribbon and we have the button on this first state. But then when somebody clicks on this button, it will actually open a light box. And again, you can see here that in the bottom right corner, we have our little one. And when I open this, I can see that there is a light box state. So let's click on that light box state. This will show the light box that will pop up when somebody clicks on the button and you will be able to customize this light box to your liking. Now let's take it one step further and have a look at what a multiple choice opt-in form looks like. What you see here is a screen filler with two choices. So one choice would send people to an opt-in form for a video course and the other option would send people to the opt-in form for a free guide. By now you, you probably understood how this works and where you would have to look for those opt-in forms, but to be sure, let me show you. So here in our bottom corner, you can see that we have a little two next to the plus, which means that we have two extra states on this opt-in form. So we have a state one and a state two. Now, in this case, state one is the opt-in form for the video course and state two is the opt-in form for the free guide. Now, when you use a multiple choice opt-in form, don't forget to go into both states and to connect both of these email forms with your email provider. On this template, we made sure to link the buttons to the different states. But if you are unsure which one is linked to which state, or if you want to change the way these buttons are linked, you can simply click on the button and then go to the actions and animations panel. And from here, you can see that this is set up to switch states when you click on a button. And when you edit it, you will be able to see which state is loaded on click. Now you can see that we also have a close form. So this means that you can also decide to have one of those buttons close a form instead of loading another state. 
Now we've seen the two-step opt-in form that shows an opt-in form in line. We've seen the two-step opt-in form that shows a light box. We've had a look at this multiple choice opt-in form that can show two different opt-in forms, but let's take it one step further with the sticky slide-in. Now the idea of a sticky slide-in is that when somebody tries closing the slide-in, they will actually get a little slide-in that doesn't hinder, that doesn't cover any of your content, and then they can still click on that little slide-in to show the light box. So this means that we have a second state that is also a slide-in but a little bit smaller, and then we also have a light box state. And when somebody clicks on the button, in the default state, it will open the light box. When they click on the close button, it will open the other slide in. And then when they click on the slide in, it will open the light box. Now, all of this is done with different states and you can find them as always in the bottom right corner. And from here you can see state one and light box. Now, this is where you would customize all of these instances of your opt-in form. Now, I hope you like this new set of opt-in forms, that you like the design, that you will use it on your own website to get more leads. And if you have any questions about them, please leave them in the comments below.